Hello people who want to be on this is Pixel by Pixel and welcome back to, to Game Dev Tycoon. Pixelated gems, let's just start this. Last time we left off, we were on the verge and we made a hit game that got like nines and eights across the board, which is perfect. Um Raw two is probably gonna be a flop, so we're not gonna make that. We're gonna generate up a game report for Raw. It's getting us a lot of money, like a crap ton of money. I think we need a million to advance, or five five hundred k. I don't know. Game's off the market. All right, our post analysis of Raw is complete, and we have the following results: post-apocalyptic and action is a great combination. Story and quest design seem to be important for this type of game. Platform, genre, match, action, and PC is good. That probably was our downfall, too. We would have gotten higher ratings if it was great. But it's not. So you know what we're going to research? <clears throat> A custom game engine. Not many that we can make, but we'll do something with it. Ah. Nothing like ginger ale to start out the morning. Recent studies suggest that an increasing variety of gaming devices also creates the market for more specialized games. Some platforms will become popular with younger gamers, while others cater for more mature, j mature age groups. <clears throat> yes, is that like the maturity level thing? As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their game on specific age groups to really make an impact. It's perfect. New research available. Target audience. Loving that. Custom game engine. You can now create your own game engines. To get started, close this message and click anywhere to bring up the action menu. Your research available, game tutorials, and mono sound. We will actually go on a research spree. Don't forget creating custom games. This will creating custom game engines. This will improve your game a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu once you have reached custom engine. Uh what can we research? Target audience, we need to research this. We'll go with a different topic, though. We'll find a topic. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Sorry, my stomach was feeling really upset, so I had to get some ginger ale. Uh, because I felt like it was about to bar, so I needed a set on my stomach. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors circulating circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. You successfully researched target audience. Let's make a game. <clears throat> you can now specify what your main target audience is for a game. Games can be targeted at young people or at everyone or more mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. The target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are especially popular with the specific audience. Alright. I'm guessing the post apocalyptic action thing would be mature, but if we do that now, people are just gonna be like, dude, what are you doing? So, we're gonna do something different. How about. Let's make a rhythm game. Screw it. A dance. A dance simulation. On the PC for everyone. Oh crap, I need to come up with the name. Uh, how about... Tap. Tap. Slap. Alright, it's like you have... A floor pad, but then you also have a hand pad. Um, it looks like a human face. You actually have to slap the human in order for it to go through. And start development. Alright. We've done simulations before. Story and quests are just completely useless for simulations. It's more like engine up and gameplay down ish for simulations. I'm going to take a sip. Ah. Uh, dialogues. Yeah, this not require any dialogues. It's a dance game, so level design is perfect. No, actually AI. Right? Crap. 
All depends on these two. I'm going with level design. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, AI. I want to make a pretty looking dance game. I want them to be tap tapping and slapping to a good visual encounter. Uh, sound. It's a dance game. Uh, world design. Don't really need. Well, we kind of want it. They're going to get on me because I'm using different things. But it's a dance game, so maybe they'll understand because sound. Seriously. You need sound to have a dance game. Today, Vina has confirmed recent rumors about new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Nevento and plans to release it in the coming months. Crap, so we gotta watch out for that. We're not gonna get a warrant for it, though. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> okay, so the one that was the most, I believe, was sound, which is right here. Uh, and Susan Justina Q is slowly making her way up to Coca Cola. Let's go. The first reviews for our newly released game, Tap Tap Slap, came in. Oh wow! Our focus on level design served very well. Oh good, 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 good. Very good! Dance simulation is a great combination and played it for days. Eights across the board. Love that. Generate a game report for Tap Tap Slap. Oh, but but come to think of it, it's on the PC. Uh oh, well maybe you could use an external controller. It'll take cost quite a bit of money, but whatever. Our post-release analysis of Tap Tap Slap is complete. We got the following results. Dance simulation is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. And platform audience match. Everyone plus PC is good. Ah! Dang it. They must want more mature, won't they? Alright, we're gonna research mono sound. And hopefully we'll get three more on the way so that we can do that and then we can research something. According to the market, research has recently published the game Tap Tap Slap but to surprise hit players. The developer Pixelated Games is fairly new with the gaming industry but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Thank you. Man, I'm loving this ginger ale. Oh, sorry. I, I know I just completely like molested the mic there but you just research your press engine part. To be able to use this in games, you need to create a new engine, so which includes this part. Let's go for it. Develop the new game. Better. Alright, let's do this. Uh, actually, we should probably research something. While well, Tap Tap Slap is just going up there. New topic? Romance? What? We're going with Ninja. Go. A ninja game. This could be a new approach. Uh, <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what to do here in this situation. Jeez. You've successfully researched a new topic, ninja. Develop new game. It will be a ninja strategy. Rated M. Uh. We gotta pick the platform, that's right. On a PC. So, uh, I'm thinking that this game should be called. Hmm, let's think about this one. Um, saw. No, sorry, wrong button. Sausage. Wink. They use nunchucks, um, that are sausage links. It takes place in a mall food court, and they have to slap each other repeatedly with meat. Today, the new game platform Master V by Vina has been released. It's a very challenging game. It's not like a small mall either, it's like the Mall of America. So, alright, let's go for this. Crap, I don't know. Strategy does not require much story in class. Uh, not at all, really. Engine gameplay. 
engine down, gameplay up. Right? I'm guessing. Let's do this. I mean, that's what I'm considering. Tap Tap Slap is now at the market and sold 31,460 units and gener generating 22,255 in sales. Holy crap. Uh, dialogues. No. Strategy game, really? <sighs> AI's up. Level does. No, strategy is level design up and are in AI down, so it's perfect. It's like simulation. Honestly. For the most part. Because you want to be, like, jumping around on the levels. The recently released gaming console Master V by Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry. Experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. Okay, so that's good, actually. So it won't flourish here. Hmm, sound, graphics, world design. Sound could go down, like way down. I think world design should go up a bit. Graphics way up there. Go! Oh! Hi, I'm Steve Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yes. Great. Thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. Right in time for the game to come out. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Pixelated Gems. According to the interview, the company is working on the first game targeted at mature audiences. Players, whatever. Susan Justina Q, owner and CEO of Pixelated Gem says, said, We think that players are looking for a more mature content in games, uh, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. We? You and me, sister. I guess that's we. But I'm controlling you, so it's just I. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games will more with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Oh crap, there's hype, that's right. Developing a great game is not only the recipe for, su for success, but it's essential to build hype to ensure players are excited about your game. In the beginning of the career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. We'll fix out the bugs. Go. So we got an amount of height. Hype, not height. New topic, new combo. Ooh, ones that gain the most is graphics. And, one, and Susan Justina Q is about 75% there from getting one can of Coke, which will change your life forever. Release game. The first reviews for a newly released game, Sausage Links, came in. Strategy games work well on the PC. Alright, just go back quick. Good game. Nice experience. I like it. Good. 6776. Six, six. Can't have a hit game every time. Let's generate up a game report for Sausage Leaks. Holy crap, three research. Holy crap, four. Our post-release analysis of Sausage Links is completed and we got the following results.